Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we are starting a new chapter named as Sources of Energy. So students, what we have learnt so far is that energy can never be created nor be destroyed neither be created nor be destroyed okay so this is what we have learned so far but why there is why there is we heard so much about the energy crisis okay so let's say energy we are not getting the electric energy in our houses so why there is so much of energy crisis we are uh, heard of okay so this the answer to this question means why there is so much of energy crisis is lies in that energy comes in energy comes in different form forms and one form can be converted to another form can be converted to another okay for example if i drop a plate from a height so let's say if we drop a plate from a height okay so the potential energy of the plate when it is at height h potential energy of the plate is converted mostly into is converted mostly into sound energy mostly into sound energy when it hits the ground when it hits the ground so as you can see here that the one form of energy which is potential energy here is converted to the sound energy when it hits the ground so we our principle is like energy can neither be created nor be destroyed is still valid okay so only we can convert one form of energy into another form of energy so now we will discuss about what is a good source of energy okay we in our daily lives use energy from various sources for doing work let's say we use diesel to run our trains okay electricity for the electricity to light our street lamps okay so there are a lot of good sources of energy the muscular energy that we are carrying out physical work electrical energy for running various appliances chemical energy for cooking food or so these are all the examples okay uh, which uh, in from which we are getting energy okay so we need to know how do we select the source needed for obtaining the energy in its usable form so 
we will discuss one activity here so what we will gonna do is in this activity is consider the various option we have when we choose a fuel for cooking our food consider the various options we have the various options we have when we choose a fuel when we choose a fuel for cooking our food okay so what we are discussing is what is a good source of energy so we are uh, doing this by one activity so what are the criteria what are the criteria criteria you would consider when trying to categorize something as a good fuel okay the third is would your choice be different if you lived would your choice would your choice be different if you lived in first in forest okay second in a remote mountain third in new delhi fourth is lived 5 centuries ago another point is how are the factors differ in each case so student this is the activity okay in which we have to select the good source of energy for us in different condition okay so when we are in forest after going through the activity we can see that the particular source of energy or the fuel we select for performing some work depends on many factors while selecting a fuel we would ask ourselves the following question how much heat so what are the questions which come to our mind when we are choosing a fuel for us how much heat this will give us it will release it releases on burning it releases on burning so this is the first question does it produce a lot of smoke okay so we will avoid that fuel which will produce a lot of smoke is it easily available so depending on the availability depending on the smoke produced depending on the heat produced by the fuel we will select our fuels okay so uh, in this way you can say that which fuel is good source of energy for us okay for us and what is a good fuel and if you could use any source of energy for eating which you would use and why okay so these all sorts of answer we can answer by checking our criteria if we are in forest we can use woods to burn okay our food to cook our food okay and if you are in a remote mount, uh, mount, mountain then uh, whatever you are getting there for burning of uh, your food or cooking your food so that can be your fuel in new delhi it can be lpg liquefied petroleum gas delivering to your houses so depending on the situation depending on the availability depending on the heat produced by the fuel we can select our source of energy okay 
so in the next lecture we will discuss about students uh, conventional source of energy okay so stay tuned for the next lecture and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this lecture then please uh, feel free to comment on the comment sections thank you happy learning